Anyways, um, uh, it's uh, news now all over the you know internet. Oh yes. Uh, we are mourning a champion for endometriosis, mm-hmm. someone who took us through a very tough journey that she was facing uh, with endometriosis. One Jambi uh, Kwekai. Na tunamuta pia fire mama. Fire mama. Yes. Mm. Now. It was just last week yes. that she had appealed for blood O positive donation. Mm-hmm. And uh, wa Kenya wakawa na jebu kumsaidia kwenye na kudonate damu. She had recently pleaded with the Kenyan leaders, especially the president, mm-hmm. uh, Ruto, to invest in healthcare specializing in endometriosis treatment as he was in the States. Oh, yes. Sema angalieni vile wawo wanafanya mambo yao. Mm-hmm. Then come back and activate the same back here in Kenya. Um, it had uh, taken Jambi, believe it or not, 17 years just to get a diagnosis of this disease. What? Walikuwa naenda hospitali madaktari hawaelewi nini inaendelea. Unapewa dawa ya tumbo, siju unapewa painkillers. Exactly. Mm. You see? And um and uh, once now she got the diagnosis of this disease that it causes her lungs to collapse monthly due to misplaced endometrial tissue. Now endometriosis is a condition that involves the growth of tissue outside the uterus that are similar to the uterus lining. And symptoms are as follows: pelvic pain, pain during your ment- uh, monthly uh, period and even during sex. Okay, and women are suffering, some of them in silence. Mm-hmm. Some of them don't even know the condition that they have. They think it's okay to be in severe pain during mm. your menstrual cycle, which should not be the case. It's not normal. For those who are uh, aware of this condition and they go to uh, health facilities and they're told, labda imefika mahali lazima sasa tuingie pale surgic surgery. Moving this tissue. One surgery ranges between 350,000 to 1 million. What? Depending on the severity of this disease. Na vile sasa imekoma. Now this condition uh, may cause infide- uh, infertility, mm-hmm. okay? So infertility amongst women and even death which is the worst case scenario as what we have seen with our dear uh, departed Jambi. So I would like just to say because of her is when now I knew about Yes. I did not know this condition existed mm-hmm. because yangu imekuwa kawaida whenever I'm going through my menses it has not been an issue of extreme pain ile pain cramping alafu nachukua painkillers mm. mambo yanatulia but amliweza ku champion akatupeleka mpaka wakati disease was eating away at her for those women and young girls because it starts pretty early wakati wa um, uh, adolescence, adolescence no, yes. na, mm. just when you've just started your menstrual cycle you can imagine already it's confusing at that time for mm. a young uh, lady uh, or a girl and then more so now with this condition what i would say is take heart i mm. think right now many of the girls are scared Mm-hmm. wanaona hii condition imemaliza mtu wetu na wanaona hata mimi njia yangu ni ile ile mm-hmm. we hope and pray that uh, more uh, research is being done on this condition and how it can be managed probably there won't be a cure but it can be managed yeah. in one or the other we are also still going to fight this fight with Jambi mm-hmm. and asking for government to do something when it comes to the healthcare that is given to these women juzi nimeona wali sijui ni kirinyaga what well, well, ladies uh, were given free surgery mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. endometriosis which is oh. something to also applaud uh, you know these uh, health facilities for but let the fight continue and i pray there'll be a wing a hospital or something mm. that is going to be named after jambi after jambi yes because she indeed was a fighter all i could say is uh, i've never seen someone fighting so hard for themselves and it really made me um, look at life in a different way because mm. at any point she would have given up. At yeah. any point she would have said, you know what, Iki to me, Menishinda. And she would have done so in silence. Exactly. But she kept on fighting. She kept on showing us. So all I would say is may she rest in peace. Mm. And all those warriors who are still fighting, keep on fighting. This is where the hits live.